uh, hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video also so guys as you can see on the screen uh, this is my fourth video in this segment which is uh, vmware vsphereware so in this video i'm just going to talk about you know uh, 15 features or what are the components uh, of vmware vsphere so there are two component i mean uh, there are two separate subject basically one is vmware vsphere and vmware vcenter so you should not be confused in this so before going further i would like to introduce about my channel so i have a youtube channel where i upload uh, you know couple of videos in different different technology like uh, networking uh, ccna security multiple firewalls like uh, 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 sonic wall firewall fortinet firewall and apart from that in security like uh, a semantic endpoint protection azure clouding and windows servers uh, server 2016 or server 2012 Apart from this, this is the new segment in that I'm going to talk about uh, virtualization, what is virtualization and before going for practical configurations, I'm just going through all the uh, uh, theoretical part, basic theoretical part because you should be able to understand the foundation then only it becomes very easy to understand practical things because if you don't know the basic things, you won't be able to understand what it is actually and how, to it, is, how it is useful and how you, you can use it. So guys, this is my YouTube channel. As you can see here, there are some around 400 videos I have already uploaded in different different technology. And uh, if you wish, you can subscribe the channel and go through. And I'm sure definitely this video will be helpful. Uh, almost couple of technologies. And don't forget to hit this bell button. So whatever I will be uploading, you will be getting all the notification here on the top, just like this. People are asking me for help and support and they are uh, putting their comments also if you are there finding any difficulties or they are finding helpful. So the same thing you can do also. So guys, uh, I'm not wasting much time here. I'm just beginning with this video and this is fourth video I'm telling once again and three video I, I have already uploaded. So guys, very uh, first here an introduction to uh, let me take highlighter. Where is highlighter? Sorry. Yeah, this one so an introduction to component and feature of uh, VMware Spareware help to understand the path or the parts and how they are interacted or they are they're connected on how they interact with each other okay so the very first one is VMware ESXi what it is actually so it is the very first one a virtualization layer run on physical server that abstracts so there will be a couple of things like, you know, processor, memory, storage and resources into multiple virtual machines. So if you are using this component, it will be uh, helpful you to abstract all the processor, memory, storage and resources into virtual machines, multiple virtual machines. Because the concept is, itself says you have one physical computer or, and you are making it multiple virtual machines. Or if you have one physical machine, you are making it or you are converting it into multiple virtual machines. That is the main concept of virtualization using VMware or VSFareware technology. Okay. The very first one is ESXi. The next component is VMware vCenter server. This is backbone, you can say backbone of virtualization. Without VMware vCenter, you cannot do anything. So how it is useful the central point of configuration provisioning and managing virtualized it inf environment or infrastructure this is a core you can say backbone without this you cannot do any virtualization it is a centralized point for configuration second thing about vmware vcenter server is it provides essential data center service such as such as an access control performance monitoring and alarm management next thing about uh, which is third third feature of uh, vm vmware vsphere is uh, vmware vsphere client why do we use client and where we can use client so basically an interface that enable you uh, enables users to connect remotely to vcenter servers or esxi from any windows pc so it is a client you will have one server here where you will install vcenter okay this vcenter server now remotely you will access this vcenter with the help of vsphere client 
okay then only you can make configuration and all so you can use any computer or from any computer windows pc basically uh, you can install this vs firmware and you can access vcenter for configuration and management fourth feature is a uh, fourth component is which is web client okay vmware vsphere web client so it is just like vmware vsphere client but the difference is here uh, like you can access your vcenter on web browsers v uh, vmware v uh, sphere client is used to access remotely vcenter uh, v on windows pc but if you are using v sphere web client so you can access vcenter uh, on or uh, if you want to use browser then you should use vsphere web client so it is an you know interface once again that enables user to connect remotely vcenter server from variety of web browsers and operating systems so here you don't have limitations if you are using vsphere web client fifth component or fifth feature is VMware vSphere SDKs. So basically, these are you know features that provides a standard interface for VMware and third-party solution to access VMware vSphere. So it is a you can say additional feature which helps you to have a communication between VMware and third-party uh, solutions or if you are using third-party softwares and all. Next one, which is sixth. So guys, it is a uh, virtual machine file system which is also known as uh, VMFS so it is a high performance cluster file for ESXi virtual machines and ESXi stands for I will show you in next video which uh, it is like elastic sky and X stands for version of uh, whatever you are using like 6.5 6.7 and all Next feature is the Sphere Virtual, which is also known as SMP. So it enables, or basically, it enables a single virtual machine to use multiple physical processors simultaneously. Okay. You have multiple physical processors and you are giving access to one one uh, one particular virtual machine you can use this processor also you can use this processor also next one is vsphere vmotion so guys uh, vsphere vmotion is very important in this and uh, it enables the migration of powered on virtual machines from one physical server to another with zero downtime and continue uh, service availability without any inter interruption of your services or applications whatever you are accessing and it is a complete transaction integrity so there is no downtime you can migrate from one server to another server with the help of vsphere vmotion similarly we have one more ninth uh, uh, component of this which is known as storage vmotion so in this it enables the migration of virtual machine files so it will be moving or it will be helpful to move virtual files virtual machine files basically from one data store to another without any service interruption you should be a uh, little bit careful about this there is a difference between a storage motion v motion and uh, uh, v motion basically so it it is helpful to move virtual machines okay and it is if you are talking about storage vmotion it is used to uh, you know migrate virtual machine files from one data store to another here it comes virtual machine files next one you can place the virtual machines and all its disk in single location or select separate location for the virtual machines configuration file and each virtual machine disk the virtual machine remains on same host during uh, storage vmotion and migration with uh, storage vmotion lets you move the virtual machine in disk or configuration file of a virtual machine to new data store while the virtual machine is running so still uh, if that virtual machine is running you can move 
from one data store to another. Migration with waste storage enables you to move a virtual machine in storage without any interruption in the availability of virtual machine. These are the advantages of using v, uh, VSPL storage vMotion. Next one, tenth feature is like high availability. Okay, so high availability means what? A feature that provides high availability for virtual machines. There is no downtime. If a server fails where uh, your virtual machine is kept, affected virtual machine are restarted on the other available server that have a spare capacity. Okay, this is the function of or advantage of using VSphere high availability. Eleventh feature, which is known as distributed resource scheduler. So the, the, the function of this, it allocates and balance computing capacity dynamically across collections of hardware resources for virtual machines. And this feature includes distributed power management, which is also known as DPM capabilities that enable a data center to significantly reduce its power consumption. Next one is 12 P Sphere Storage DRS. So guys, uh, this one is uh, useful to, you know, it allocates and balances the storage capacity and input output dynamically across collection of data stores. And this feature includes management capabilities that minimizes the risk of running out of a uh, space and the risk of input output uh, bottlenecks, slowing the performance of virtual machines. How to configure each and everything, all those things I will be uh, showing you in next videos. These are the theoretical parts, basic theoretical parts. The next one is 13th feature, which is also known as Fault tolerance, so guys, fault tolerance is used like you know it provides continuous ability by protecting a virtual machine with a copy. And when it when this feature is enabled for a virtual machine, a secondary copy of the original or primary virtual machine is created. So you will be having two copies at two locations if you are using fault tolerance. All actions completed on the primary virtual machine. This will be your primary, this will be your secondary. So if it is running, it will be running from primary. Are also copied to the secondary. So whatever you are doing, whatever is happening with this virtual machine will be copied to secondary machine. But you will be, you will not be knowing it, but it will be going on background. That is the concept of fault tolerance. If the primary virtual machine becomes unavailable, the secondary virtual machine becomes immediately active. So this is a concept of fault tolerance. So in that you will not have any downtime. Next one, uh, which is uh, VSphere distributed switches. Okay. So in this, a virtual uh, switch that can span multiple ESXi host enabling significant reduction of uh, ongoing network maintenance activities and increasing network capacity so in next video i will talk about in detail what is distributed switches uh, switch basically or what are the you know distributed switches and this increased efficiency enable the, the, this increased efficiency enables virtual machines to maintain consistent network configuration as they migrate across multiple hosts. I'm sure you will not be able to understand here much, but in next video, you will be able to understand how it works basically. So guys, uh, this is the last feature of this video, which is host profiles. And let me talk about this. So guys, it is a feature that simplifies host configuration management through user defined configuration policies. So you can define couple of policies for host that is known as host profile and the host profile policy capture the blueprint of a known validated host configuration and use this information to configure networking, storage, security and other setting across multiple hosts. 
and the host profile policy also monitor compliance to a standard host configuration setting across the data center so all these 15 uh, 15 features are very very important very very useful and if you use all those things definitely it will be very easy to manage virtualized infrastructure next thing about host profile so guys this host profile reduces the manual step that are involved in configuring a host and can help maintain consistency and correctness across the data centers and this host profile are also component of vSphere auto deploy so guys in this video i concluded 15 basic features or you can say basic component of vSphere and i hope this video will be informative and if you feel it is informative don't forget to subscribe the channel like this video comment on this video and share this video and uh, don't forget to hit this bell icon and next video i will be talking about uh, physical topology of vsphere data center so what is the basic uh, you know architecture of uh, data center and uh, i'm sure that will be helpful to understand the entire scenario of uh, virtualization so that will be very interesting physical topology of uh, vsphere data center how things are connected and uh, in that i will be talking about couple of things like compute servers storage network and arrays ip networks p center servers once again management clients and all so guys till then bye bye